Hey, Veronica. Welcome. Uh, welcome to circuit training, guys. My name is Ellen. We are going to do a little bit of everything today and have a little different format for you guys. Um, I hope you like it. It's a little bit more challenging. And I have cardio and strength and core exercise for you guys today. Let's first start with our warm up. Make sure you have plenty of space. Um, you need water and you need some weights for the second part of our circuit. So feet. Under those hips, maybe a slightly wider. We're gonna go ahead and start with some squats. So we're gonna drop down and up. It is still Squattober. We have one week left of October. Can you guys believe that? That's crazy. So I'll get some music going in a couple minutes. So I wanna make sure everyone hops on and can hear me. We're starting with some squats. Pressing back into those heels. Inhale down. And exhale up. Couple more squats here. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend and are ready to work for the next 45 minutes of circuit training. All right, we got four more squats. Four. Keep that chest up as you drop. Three, two, we got one more. One. Okay, next exercise. We're just gonna sort of march in place and reach those arms side to side here. So you're gonna bring those knees up and you're going for a little twist here. So low impact, we're just getting that heart rate up, not going too crazy. Lift and twist. So you guys keep that moving for about 20 more seconds. And don't worry, if you want something higher impact or harder, you will have an opportunity as we go through class today. But for now, just right here. Just warming it up. All right, you guys keep going for about four more seconds. Oh, Tammy, hi. Looking good, guys. Three, two, and one. Okay, next exercise. Hands behind our head. Good mornings. It's still technically morning, right? We lower our flat back and we lift. We are warming up the back of our legs. Bend those knees slightly. It's inhale lower. Exhale up. I want you to push into your heels as you lift back up. Keep that neck long. It's sort of like a deadlift. Let's go for about 20 more seconds, guys. These are called good mornings or waking up the back. Feet are right underneath those hips. I'm gonna check you guys out. Oh, hey, Blair. Linda, hello, hello. Welcome to circuit training. You guys are in for a treat. We got a few more seconds of these good mornings. Let's all do one more together. All right, excellent. Our next warm up exercise, my favorite. You guys know this one. Most of us do this in our warm up. In our classes, we walk out to a plank. We're going to hold this for about two seconds. Drive those hips back up. Walk your hands to your feet and arms reach at the top. Go ahead, 45 seconds. So you don't have to do a certain number. Uh, alternative here, you can just hold a forearm plank. If walking out bothers your wrists or your shoulders today, I will try to be mindful of modifications for you guys. Let me know if you need an alternative. We got about 30 more seconds, walk it out. No rush, this is our warm up. So make that walk out intentional, right? Tuck those hips under as you find that nice plank. Hey, Mary Beth. Looking good, guys. Keep it up. Nice and slow, walk it out. You should feel your hamstrings warm up as you walk back. We got a few more seconds here. Bum, bum, bum. We've got four, three, two, and one, let's come back up to standing. Woo! All right, let's find the center of our space. Okay, shoulder rolls. Shoulder rolls. So I'm just gonna pause the music here so I can tell you what we're doing for our workout. Don't worry, once you get moving, I'll have a little bit of background music if that motivates you. Feel free to also play your own if you'd like. Let's bend the knees as we inhale lower. Exhale, let's roll it up. We're gonna do this two more times. So we have what we call a stacked workout that we're gonna do. I was inspired by one of uh, my coworkers from Fit Fest. 
last week. It's a really good workout where we really don't get much rest. Let's come down here. Let's go ahead and just uh, twist that right shoulder in. We've got eight body weight exercises. Let's go ahead and switch. I'm just gonna show you one at a time. Do, do, and let's roll it up, okay? Open up those hips, so make circles with your knees, and then I'll show you our first two exercises. Each exercise is just for 30 seconds. Your first one is nice and easy, squat to over. We've got squats. So at any point, you can add a jump to this if you want to make it a little bit harder. And as we go through the workout, you can also use it as a placeholder for rest. So we'll do that for 30, and then our next one will be jump rope. So you can make it high impact by adding a tuck jump or just side to side, okay? So let's start with basic squats, 30 seconds. We only rest for about 10, but during that transition, I'm gonna tell you what's coming up next. All right, squats, 30 seconds. Ready, set, let's do it. So I'm just keeping it nice and low impact. Your feet are slightly wider than your hips. Right? I want you to drop back into those heels and keep your chest up. Keep going, guys. We've got about 10 more seconds. Good. If you want it harder, you're going to add that jump. Right? Keep going a few more seconds. Bum, bum. And go ahead and pause for just a few seconds. So we're going to do the jump rope. So it's going to be jump rope and then squats. That's how we're going to add it. Ready, set. 30 seconds, jump rope in place. So we're adding this one on. Keep going. We'll do this for 30 and straighten the squats for 30 seconds. We're just going to keep adding exercise after exercise. It's going to be fun. So try to also circle your arms here with that jump rope just to keep that heart rate up. I'm doing a little low impact here. But I'm still keeping my heart rate up. All right, let's go right into squats. Go. 30 seconds. Go. Squats, guys. Squats. 30 seconds. So as we continue to add exercises, you'll see it's going to get a little bit harder, right? Keep going. Our third exercise. You have 10 more seconds. I'll show you in just a few. Squat. Or remember, it could be a squat jump, right? All right, stop for about 10 seconds. Our next exercise, lunge, knee drive. Option to add that hop. Okay, we'll switch halfway. Ready, set, let's start with that one. Right leg, go. Right leg. Lunge and knee drive. Woo! Lunge and knee drive. Keep going, next time we come here, it will be the other side. So stay on this right side for now. Stay on this right side for about 11 more seconds. Then we jump rope for 30, and then we squat for 30. Maybe you want to jump here. Use those arms for balance, guys. And jump rope 30 seconds, go. Woo, we go right into it. Keep moving. So remember, as we go, the squats can be used as a rest if you need it. We're only up to exercise three, so you probably don't need it yet. But again, this is your workout. So do what you can. Keep going. Squats, go. Squats, this is your 30 seconds. This can also be a time to rest, okay? We might want a little bit later on. Come on, guys. Squat it up. Okay, keep going. And then our next exercise is going to be skaters. I'll show you in just a few seconds. You do get a couple seconds rest as I'm showing you that next exercise. All right, go ahead and pause for a few seconds. These are skaters. Okay, you can step or you can actually jump and add that balance and reach, okay? For 30 seconds, ready, set, let's go. We go right into it. Woo! Goal today is to keep you guys moving the whole time, but take that rest during the squats if you need to, okay? 
That's your rest act. Let's keep going. Woo! Keep little guys, couple more seconds. Lunge and knee drive, left leg, let's go. Other side. Lunge, knee drive. Maybe riding that jump. Are you using your core muscles here? Let's try it. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice Veronica, nice pace. Good Kathy, get as low as you can, guys. Listen to your body. Everybody's different, do what you can. Few more seconds. And jump rope, go. Jump rope. 30. Circle those arms, come on. I'm just doing the tap. If you want it harder, do this big jump with me, right? Or maybe even jumping those heels up, right? Almost like a butt kick. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Okay, so squats or rest, I'll let you choose. Is gonna go, is gonna be next. In four, three, two, go. Squat or rest. Woo. Don't feel bad if you want to rest, right? I'm actually gonna grab some water. So you guys squat or you rest. And we're gonna add on, okay? Keep moving, guys. Thumbs up, we're doing okay. As you're squatting and resting, awesome. All right, what's next? I'll show you in about five seconds. So squat or rest, three, two, one. All right, you got about 10 seconds here. Sumo squat is next, hands up. We get low, we crunch, we crunch. All right, all obliques, ready, set. Open up from your hips, go. Get nice and low on that sumo and then start to add that oblique crunch. Bring your rib cage to your hip. Keep going, I'm just gonna show you from the side. You want a nice flat back, tuck those hips under, right? You go side, center, side, center. Yes, keep that chest up. Let's see it, guys. Awesome, can we get a little bit lower? Looking good, guys. Your skaters are coming up in just a few seconds. Three, two, Skaters, go. Go. I'm going to do low impact. Now, if you're doing low impact, but you want your heart rate to stay high, use your arms. Right? Lift them up and then down. You don't even have to jump here. If you are really ready for that challenge, show me those levels where you go high and low. High and low, keep going. All right, right leg lunge. Ready, set. Right leg lunge, knee drive, let's go. It's 30 seconds. Woo! I want you to drive that knee up to your chest. Step back and left. Keep moving, guys. Remember that rest is coming up. If you want to take it. Woo! I know this is a little hard, we really don't rest much. But you guys can do this. Keep going, give her seconds. Jump rope is coming up in three, two, go, jump rope. Jump rope. Whatever version of this you're doing, come on. Woo! If you're feeling good, add that jump. Circle those arms. You can tap it out as well. As long as you guys are moving, I'm happy, come on. All right, rest or squats are coming up. Okay, keep moving. Awesome, awesome. Take a side to side. Take a side to side with this, have fun, right? Three, two, rest or squats, go. Rest or squats. 30 seconds, guys. Okay, how are we doing, thumbs up? We're cool? No one's resting, they're like, I'm gonna keep going. You guys are awesome. All right, burpees are coming up, okay? You guys are gonna keep doing those squats or resting. I'm just gonna show you. Pull out burpee, you guys know this one. It's a jump, down, jump. Right? Or you can do low impact, where you don't go all the way down. You just reach. You can also walk out. 
Right? So don't jump. I'm gonna do a couple different options. Ready, set. 30 seconds. And go. 30 seconds. I'll show you the low impact. I'm gonna walk out. Okay, you can also step back. You don't want to do anything with your hands on the floor because of your shoulders. Maybe try tuck jumps, right? Keep it up, guys. The burpee is just meant to get your heart rate high, right? Keep it up. So, Shanita, you could do some tuck jumps if you want for your shoulder, if you want. Keep going. She said she already got it. We got a few more seconds, guys. Sumo squat is coming up. In three, two, sumo squat. Hands behind the head, let's go. And crunch, center, crunch, center, crunch. Woo! Looking good, guys. Remember, open up from the hips first. Listen to your body and get as low as you can. Crunch, center. Working those obliques, keep moving. Keep moving. We have our skaters coming up. In three, two, skaters, go. Let's go. Woo! Come on. So I'm keeping it low and pads, but I'm still keeping my heart rate up. Come on guys, let me see those levels. I wanna see you up and then down. Nice flare. Yep, nice use of those arms. Come on, Linda. You got it, looking good. Awesome, Shannon, you look really good. Perfect form. Come on, Tammy. And left leg lunge and drive. Left leg go. Lunge, drive. Left leg, come on. Woo. If you're getting tired, remember that rest is coming up. We've got jump rope and then our rest. Four squats, right? Woo. Keep moving, guys. It's only 30 seconds. You got about five more to go here. You all look great. Maybe you want to jump. Maybe not. Jump rope. Let's go. Jump rope. Woo. It could also just be hops. Maybe no arms moving. Right? Maybe it's a jog in place. I just want you to keep your heart rate up, okay? Circle those arms if you can. All right, our break is coming up or squats, right? We're gonna add, we got two more to stack on, guys, two more. Oh, is that Michael? Tammy, did I see Michael? He, tell him to come in. <laughs> All right, rest for 30, or squat, right? Rest for 30 or squat. All right, so resting or squatting, here's what we're adding on as you were doing that, plank shoulder taps, okay? I have an alternative for people with shoulder and neck issues, but here's your plank. So you're resting or squatting, guys. Shoulder tap. You're just reaching for the opposite shoulder. You can also do it on your knees, right? Okay, so option, hold a plank, bring your knee to your chest, okay? This should not bother your shoulders. You could also even do this one, okay? Because we're working the core. So 30 seconds, guys. I'll give you about five seconds. You can stop right here. Quick little breather. Plank shoulder taps. Or forearm knee drive. Ready, set, go. Plank shoulder taps. Reach. You can do this on your knees. A little more support for that low back. You can also do this standing. And just go opposite elbow to knee, right? Woo. It's only 30 seconds, guys. You can also hold a forearm plank. We are working core. I want to work for everybody. Maybe it's those legs instead of hands that you're moving. A couple more seconds. Burpees are up next. Four, three, two. Burpees, let's go. So I'm doing low impact. I'm just walking out. Come on. Woo. Come on, guys, keep up. We have one more exercise to add to this stack. You have about 15 seconds, burpees. I'm now just stepping back, not even going to the floor, right? But I'm still moving. 
Come on. Maybe you want a tuck jump. Three, two, sumo squat. Let's go. Let's go sumo squat. Crunch, center, crunch, center, crunch. Make that crunch intentional, right? Woo! Try to bring that rib cage to your hip. Can you get a little bit lower? Yes, good, Linda. You got it, Warren. Keep that head up. Nice, Kathy. Tuck those hips under. Let's make sure we're engaging that core. Nice, you guys look really good. Our skaters are coming up in three, two, go, skaters. 30 seconds, come on. Woo! Whatever version you're doing. Just keep moving, right? Remember, you're stepping that leg back and across. Back and across, nice. Can you reach for the floor? You'll get those inner and outer thighs and glutes a little bit more. Reach to the floor, right? Come on. Four, three, two, lunge left leg. Go. Left leg, lunge and lift. Lunge, knee drive. Woo! Come on, guys. We got a couple more to go and then one last exercise. So we'll get a long break. Maybe you're ready, jump. Maybe not. Five seconds, and then we jump rope. Come on. Four, three, two, jump rope. Let's go. Woo. Remember, that rest is coming up. And then we have one last exercise to stack. And we'll bring it all the way down, okay? It's going to be a core exercise on our back. So just make sure you're ready for that. 10 seconds, jump rope. Four, three, two, rest your squat. Rest your squat, okay? Now don't worry about what anyone else is doing. If you need a rest, take a break. Grab some water. Here's our last exercise, keep moving. V ups, right, pretty basic. V up. Okay. Arms can also be down here, right? I'll be better on the shoulders, okay? You guys got a few more seconds. I'll give you about 10 for a quick breather. All right, and stop, 10 seconds. Let's get set up for those V ups, come on down. Come on down. Here we go, in four, three, two. Let's stack, go. Final round, guys. V ups, let's go. Let's do arms by your side. I know I said arms overhead, let's do arms by your side. So you're really using your core to pull yourself up. Come all the way down, exhale lift. You can bend your knees, right? Maybe just a regular crunch is your option for today. Maybe hands behind the head. Woo! Come on, guys. You only do this one once. You got a few more seconds. We're going to flip it over in four, three, plank, shoulder, tap. So let's go. Flip it. Flip it. 30 seconds. Go. So I'm being modified on my knees. Tap that opposite shoulder. Or maybe it's a forearm plank, right? Woo! Can you keep your hips from shaking? Pull those abs in. Come on, let's do it. You got about 10 more seconds. Keep that head up. Woo! Tuck those hips under. Come on. I think we have burpees coming up in three, two, stand up. Burpees. Ready, set, and go. 30 seconds. Let's go. Go. Woo! Do whatever version you're doing, guys. As long as you're working. Come on. It's levels. You're up and then you're down. Right? You don't have to go all the way to the floor. Come on, push it out, push it out. Woo! Okay, Blair. I see you working, Mary Beth. Keep it up a few more seconds. Sumo squat. Three, two, one. 
Sumo squat front. Let's go. Crunch. Crunch. Woo! You bet your step in to get a little bit lower, guys. It's the last time you got this. Knees over those toes, right? Watch those knees. Our skaters are coming up. Can we get a little lower? Woo! Keep it up. Looking good, guys. Looking good. We got a few more seconds left. Three, two, skaters, let's go. Skaters, let's go. Last time, guys. Come on. Remember, you can add a little balance, right? If you want a little bit harder. 15 seconds. Let me see it. Can we get a little lower? Woo! Five seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Right leg, lunge. So this one we're gonna switch halfway. It's our final round. Woo! Right leg. Keep going, we're gonna switch in about five seconds. Okay? Left side, go. Lunge and lift. Bring that knee all the way to your chest. All the way to your chest. Our jump rope is coming up. In about five seconds. Four, three, two, jump rope. Let's go. Woo! Guys, we're gonna finish strong with those squats, okay? Because then you're gonna get a nice long rest. Come on. Come on, keep moving. Is it a big jump or is it small? Either way, you're moving. Four, three, two, squats, let's go. 30 seconds, come on. Maybe it's a squat jump. Maybe it's a little faster, right? As long as your form is good, I want you to push back, keep your chest up. Come on, drive it, let's go, let's go. Awesome, nice, good warm, yep. Can you get a little lower? All right, Blair, still so jump in, I love it. Four, three, two, stop. And stop. Woo, water. How are we doing? Thumbs up, loving it? You guys are awesome. Okay, so we got a nice long break. About a minute, minute and a half here, okay? So we're going to do same thing, but it's six exercises, and these are gonna be strength-based, all right? So you want weights or water bottles or something. So same format, we're stacking. So let me show you this first one, okay? It's a lateral lunge into a curl. So make sure you have room. Right now, you're just taking a quick breather. Because remember, once we get into it, we really don't rest. So it's a lunge into a curl. We start with those feet together. We'll step out to the side. Lateral lunge and curl at the top. Now you're gonna switch. Lunge and curl. Lateral lunge, you step out, sort of half a squat, half a lunge. And then our second one, we'll just go into it. Side plank rotation with that dumbbell. It can be one or both, okay? So we reach up, side plank and switch. So an option here. You can just do this, adding just a row. If you don't want to put that weight on your shoulder or your wrist, and then you would just switch halfway. So let's go ahead and grab those weights. It's been a minute and 15 seconds. All right, so lateral lunge in the curl. 30 seconds, start with those feet together. Ready, set, and go. So you lunge, you curl at the top. I'll let you make those lunges. Lunge, curl. We're about halfway there. We'll take a few seconds in between. We're gonna get ready for side plank rotations right after this, okay? Woo! Elbows in as you curl. You've got four, three, two. Okay, come onto the floor, side plank rotation. 30 seconds. 
We start in four, three, two, go. So you're gonna see one dumbbell. Side plank, reach, other side. It's sort of a row and extension. But I want you to do it nice and slow. Extra challenge, you keep those feet together. You can do this without your weight. Oh, Linda's dogs, they're so cute. So we're doing that modification. Twist and row, so we're working that core. You'll switch sides next time. We've got three, two, and stand up, lateral lunge and curl. Feet together. Ready, set, go. Lunge and curl. Back to this. All right, stacking those exercises. Now, for this circuit, this will not be a rest. That will not be an option unless you really need it. But this circuit is shorter, okay? So I want you to challenge yourself to work the whole time. Couple more seconds, our third one's coming up. It's gonna be kneeling lap holds. You got a couple seconds to rest here and stop. Exercise three, you got just about 10 seconds here. Kneeling lap holds. Pull. Okay? A little option for the shoulders you can have in front and row back instead. But it's a pull down. Focus on the pull and not the press, okay? So come on down, kneeling, maybe lighter weights for this one. Ready, set, three, two, and go. Kneeling lap pulls, pull. So just like we would do on our chest, we're just doing it kneeling, right? Pull, maybe a little extra pull at the bottom there, yeah? Let's do a little double. A one, two, pull at the bottom. Inhale, exhale, pull, one, two. So work from those overhead shoulder issues. You're just gonna go in front instead and row back with that little pulse, okay? Tuck your hips under. Make sure you're nice and tall, guys. Couple more seconds to go. Woo! We've got four, three, two, side plank rotation. Here we go. Adding on, starting in three, two, go. Feet together a little more challenging. Ooh, can you keep those hips low? Maybe you lift that top leg as you lift the arm. If you want an even extra challenge as you rotate, lift your top leg with the arm. Let's see it, guys. Keep going. So I'm controlled. Yep. So yep. If you're doing the standing one, you're doing the other side. Where it's a row and a twist. Working that core. Keep it up, guys. A few more seconds. And then we come up for our lateral lunge. Keep it up, guys. You've got four, three, two. Stand up. Stand up. Grab those heavy weights. Lunge and curl. Ready, set, go. Lunge and curl. We're going to add on number four. Woo! You guys look great. Keep moving, keep moving. We're going to add on number four. I'm going to show you what that is in just a few seconds. Lunge and curl. So if you want this harder, maybe you speed it up a little bit. Keep moving, maybe you grab something a little bit heavier, right? Keep going. Our next one's gonna be a sumo squat hold, and we're just gonna punch it out. And twist and rotate, with or without weights. Three, two, one. Sumo squat, I'm gonna grab lighter weights. Ready, set, go, punch. So I want you to twist from your waist, right? So, alternative, keep moving, just without the weights, and you won't feel your shoulders as much. You can also just go straight. Or just a twist, right? Maybe no punches and you're just twisting with those weights. Can you guys get a little bit lower? Come on, punch, punch. Woo, let's go. Awesome job, guys, nice. Punch to that diagonal. We got a few more seconds. And then we have our kneeling lap pull down. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Come on down. Lap pull down. Ready, set, go. Pull. One, two. 
Inhale, exhale. One, two. I want you to squeeze your back muscles here. Or you're going straight in front, right? Couple options. Make sure you can see your hands at the corners of your eyes when you extend them up, okay? Woo, feeling those back muscles here. I'm feeling it. I have light weight. Let's try a few more seconds and then side plank rotation. In four, three, two, one. Get ready for that side plank rotation. In four, three, two, and one. You notice you really only get about five seconds in between each exercise. Woo! Come on, guys, keep moving. The goal is to keep moving. We will get rest when we're done with our workout, which is going to be really soon, okay? Keep it up, guys. So we do standing with the twist, driving the elbow back. A couple more seconds. Then we're going to come back to that lunge and curl. Two exercises to add on. You've got three, two, one, feet together. Lunge and curl. Let's go. Lunge and curl, guys. Let's go. Woo! All right. Keep it moving. I'm just going to show your next one, okay? You're still moving here. We're going to do core. It's going to be a row, okay? You can have feet up if you want a little extra core challenge. We have that in four, three, two. Come to the floor. Ready, set, be sit, row, let's go. You row one arm at a time. It's inhale, exhale, row. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. A little harder, feet off the floor. Woo, that's a lot harder for those abs. Let's see it guys, keep going. You got about 15 more seconds. And we're about to that sumo squat and punch. Keep it up, you got five more seconds. Reach in row, three, Two, stand up, sumo squat and punch. Let's go, let's go, right away, go, punch. Right away, right away. 30 seconds, come on. Woo, pump up that intensity because we're getting close to the end. And it's only 30 seconds, come on. Can you get a little lower? Punch and twist, come on. Woo. Come on guys, you got less than 10 seconds with this one. And then our kneeling pull downs. In four, three, two, kneeling, let's go. Nice and tall, ready, step, pull down. Double pulse there at the bottom. Arms overhead or straight in front. Woo! Guys, we have one last exercise. Stack on, and then we're done. Okay? Last time will be our final round. Come on. Just a couple minutes left. We've got five seconds left here. Four, three, two, side plank rotation. Ready, set, go. Row and extend. Nice and slow, pull those abs in. Maybe you're lifting that top leg also as you rotate. Or it's that stand and elbow twist. Woo. Keep it moving, guys. We are back to our lunge and curl, and then our final exercise. Okay, a little more cardio base to end off. You guys, you got five seconds. Four, three, two, stand up. Lunge and curl. Here we go, final round. Lunge and curl. So, while you're doing that, our final one is a little more cardio to end it off. And we only do it once, so I want you to go hard. Okay? Shuffle and then jump. Weighted. Okay? So get nice and low. You can punch overhead if you want to, but it's a weighted shuffle and a jump. We start in five seconds. Four, three. This is it, guys. Ready, set, go. Shuffle, shuffle, jump. Get really low. Jump. Come on. And maybe it's just body weight. But can you challenge yourself today? Come on. And it's only for 30 seconds. Let's go. Let's see it. You only do this one once. Come on. Woo! Get a little lower. Come on. Nice spirit, Mary Beth. You got it. Extend those arms up. Good, Tani. You got three, two, 
One, V sit. V sit, reach and row. Ready, set, go. Reach and row. Shoulders away from your ears. Maybe feet off the floor. Pull those abs in. Come on. Keep it up, guys. Less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. And then sumo squat and punch. Three, two, stand up. Sumo squat and punch. 30 seconds, go. Just get right into it, guys. Come on. Ooh. Last time, so I'm using a little heavier weight. Can you tuck those hips under a little bit more? Stitch your rib cage together 12 seconds. Can you get a little lower? Get a little lower, yes. Our pull down is coming up in four, three, two, kneel down. Pull downs or rows, ready, set, go. Pulse, pulse at the bottom. Inhale, knees together. Use those back muscles, come on. Maybe it's a row back instead of overhead. Pulse, pulse, keep that chin up. Woo! I'm feeling the back. Six seconds. And then our plank rotation. Three, two, one. Plank rotation. Let's go. You got one minute left, guys. One minute. Who's lifting up that top leg? Let's see that challenge. Good. Perfect. You're about halfway. If you're standing and want to twist, make sure you get that other side. A few more seconds, guys. Looking good. Ooh, yeah. Looking good. Three, two, stand up. Lunge and curl. This is it. Last 30 seconds, guys. Go. Ooh. She can slow this one down. This is sort of aid in our cool down, but keep moving, right? Hips back, chest up, elbows in. Slow it down. Less than 10. Tuck those hips under. You've got four. Three. Get one more in. Maybe even yourself out. And done. Woo! Done. Thumbs up, we're okay. We're a lot of breath. We got just a few few minutes. Might go over just a little bit. I have two minutes left with you. So if you can give me about an extra three, we will stretch and cool down for five. So grab some water. How are we doing? You guys are awesome. Let's stay standing. Do do. Just make sure you have all your stuff out of the way here. Let's start with those shoulder rolls. Up and back. Take the deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Woo! Monday, you guys are so awesome. Kicking off the week. All right, a nice, a nice and easy twist here for our back. Just taking it side to side. Nice and easy, right? And let's come back to the center. Full body roll, feet nice and wide. Inhale, we bend the knees, we arch the back. Exhale, we round the spine. Let's do it again. I'll just show you from the side. We sort of arch the back. Inhale, exhale, round. One more time. Stay low right here. Go ahead and bring that right shoulder in. And then twist. Hey guys, we have a special Halloween boo camp class on <laughs> this Friday at 12. Me and Alicia, the GoHo program manager, we're going to connect and do another DOE Connect Fit Friday class for you guys. It's gonna be really fun. Let's come down to the floor. We encourage you to wear a costume, bring a pumpkin for an optional weight. We're gonna do all of our exercises with the pumpkin. It's gonna be really fun. So let's find a tabletop. Cat calf stretch. Just a few more. So inhale and exhale. It's a 45 minute class, 12 o'clock on Friday. One more. Knees wide, feet together, sit back, child's pose. Relax, hold it here. I know, I know some of you guys take Eric's Weekend Warrior at 1230, but you can still come for the first half hour. 
and then go to Eric's if you wanted to. And get double dose before Halloween. All right, let's come down to our chest. We're just gonna do a quad stretch real quick. Look to your right, grab your right foot. Press your thighs into the mat and hold. And let's go ahead and switch other side. And then relax. Let's go ahead and slowly press ourselves up. We're going to swing over onto our back. And this is our last few stretches down here. So slowly make your way down. You're gonna hug your knees into your chest. If you have to go, just make sure you finish stretching and grab some water. So just gently rock side to side, massaging that back, circle your ankles here. And let's extend our left leg up for a hamstring stretch. Keep your head down, take a breath here, and then take that ankle over your knee, figure four. Hold this here, feel that stretch in the glutes. And then let's go ahead and switch. Other leg up, pull it in, take a few breaths. And then go and take that ankle over your knee, figure four stretch, keeping the back flat, head down. And then go ahead and release, shake it out. Let's roll up to standing and go ahead and find a downward facing dog before you come up, just to stretch your back a little bit more. Pedal up those heels. Press your chest towards your thighs. And then when you're ready, meet me in the middle of your space. So roll up nice and slow, head comes up last. Meet me in the center, we'll shake it out. Thank you for giving me two extra minutes for that stretch. Inhale, let's lift up up to our toes. Shake it out as we exhale and one more time together. Big inhale and big exhale, shake it out. You guys are ready to take on the rest of your Monday. Woo, good job. How are we feeling? <laughs>